Okay, so giving this question a read through, it might look a bit more straightforward than it actually is. Um, let's give it a read through and then we'll talk about how to tackle it. It's a six mark question, so it's going to be a big one. Jim owns a small business. The table shows information about the weekly wage of the 40 workers. Uh, we can see, for example, there are 13 people who earn £370 a week and two people who earn £520 a week. Jim wants to increase the mean wage by 4% plus £10. Jim thinks that the new mean wage the new mean weekly wage of these workers will be more than £415. Is Jim correct? Now, finding the mean from this data is not as straightforward as it looks because we have 10 people who earn £320 a week. So when we're trying to find the mean, which is the total, sorry, total, not tattle, uh, which is the total divided by how many? The total wages are the wages of these 10 people. Um, so those 10 people who are earning £320 each together earn £3,200. I've multiplied these together to work out the total wages of just these 10 people. And if we continue down the list, if we have 13 people who earn £370 each, then we multiply those to work out their total. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down the list. We're going to do 320 times 10, which we already did. We're going to do 370 times 13. Um, so I'll write these all out in pencil as well. Uh, we're going to do 420 times 8. Um, 470 times 7. And finally, 520 times 2. All right, so just, just, just to talk through again why we're doing this. To work out the mean wage, which we're going to need, we need the total wages of all of these people so we can divide by how many people there are. But the total wages of these people, if we have 10 people who are earning £320, then their total, just those 10 people, they earn, they earn a total of £3,200. Uh, these people we worked out were £4,810 together. These eight people were £3,360. Uh, these extra seven were this much, and these last two people and that much together. We've timed these all together. Now, those are only like mini totals. Those are like uh, part of our working out. We need the total wages for all of these people, so we need to add these numbers together. These are only the totals for each group of people, but for the entire business, we need the total wages of all of those people. So next, we're gonna add those together. So that's 3,200, 4,810, 3,360, 3,290 and 1,040. Let me just check. Ah, see, I did put, good job I checked. I put one of those numbers in wrong. So let me just try again. 3,200, 4,810, 3,360, 3,290 and 1,040. Okay, so the total wages for all those people is 1,570. Now I'm just gonna note that down here as well. Sorry, I think I said that wrong. It's 15,700. Um, 15,700 pounds for all of those people. So we're, near, we're, ne we're nearly there with the mean. We have now got the total number of, well, the total amount of money being made, the total wages. So next, I want to divide that by how many, how many workers there are. How many people is this shared out between? Either we could add up all of these, add up the total number of workers, or we could just read it from the question. Um, either way, we're dividing that by 40. So back to the calculator to find the mean. Um, this is the total and the mean. We do the total divided by how many. So the mean wages is this number, £392.50. So £392.50. Now, Jim wants to increase the mean wage, so increase this number here, by 4% plus £10. So we're going to have to find 4% of this, add it on, because we're increasing by 4%, and then we'll add on another £10. So we need to find 4% of this number. Um, because we're using a calculator, we're going to use this method. We're going to find 1% first by dividing this by 100, and then we'll multiply that by 4 to get 4%. Like that. We're going to find 1% first by dividing by 100, times it by 4 to get 4%. So on the calculator, there is our mean. We divide by 100 
to get this number, which looks a bit weird, but that's okay. And then we times that by four to get 4%, which is this, £15.70. Um, you'll notice that um, when it says 15.7, because we're talking about money, I'm turning that into £15.70. Uh, when it's money, you've got to make sure there's two numbers after the decimal. Even though the calculator said 0.7, I'm making it 0.70, so it makes sense with money. Um, all right, so I'm going to copy that to the working box, make sure I've got all my working out um, on here. Everything I'm writing is the equivalent of you doing something on paper. It's great to get your head around it and make sure that you're doing uh, maybe a method that works for you. You can lay it out however you want, but you're only marked for what goes in the working box. So you have got to make sure that everything you do on paper, in my case, everything I'm scribbling, you've got to make sure is in the working box as well. So we know how much it will be to increase it by 4%. So let's take the mean wage which Jim wants to increase by 4% plus 10 pounds. So we take the mean wage, which is up here, I starred it, put a little star next to it. So there's the mean wage. We're going to increase it by 4%, which we worked out, means an increase of 15 pounds 70, plus an extra 10 pounds. So this is what Jim wants to increase the weekly wage mean to. He wants to increase it to 418 pounds 20. Jim thinks the new mean weekly wage of these workers will be more than £415. Is he correct? Um, yes, yes, we've finally got to that point. We've done all the working out that we need to do. Um, we found the mean wage, which was very tricky, lots of work with all that timesing. We found the mean wage, we found 4% and added that on, plus the extra £10. We found out that the new mean weekly wage will be £418.20 which is down here is 418.2. So Jim thinks the mean weekly wage will be more than 415. Yes, the new mean weekly wage will be 418 pound 20. Um, you don't necessarily need to put all of that information in your little justification box because you do have it in the working, but um, I hope that makes it clear. We had to find the mean. And if, by the way, uh, if you're looking to study this at home, um, this process that we did at the beginning it's the mean from a frequency table. From a frequency table. Um, and because this is a level two exam, I'll also say that you also need to know how to find the mean from a grouped frequency table. Um, grouped frequency table. So this one's a regular frequency table. You could be asked to do it from a grouped frequency table. It's tricky to revise because if you search for a grouped frequency table, you come up with lots of GCSE questions, which aren't quite the same as functional skills questions on the same topic. Um, but anyway, that's what you can look up if you want to study this at home. Hope that helped. Quite a big question, some tricky stuff we had to do. Um, great, good stuff. Thank you very much.